Hello and welcome to a video on Cisco Unified Communications Manager Voicemail. This video is part of our Cisco Collaboration video series. This is Voicemail Pilot and Trunk. In this voicemail video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up the Voicemail Pilot. We're going to set up the trunk. We're going to make the connection from CUCM to Cisco Unity so that we're going to be able to get a voicemail box. Later on, we're going to be able to make an account and then we're going to go ahead and test our voicemail. So let's go ahead and get started by go opening up our CUCM. In CUCM, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to our advanced features, our voicemail, and our mail port wizard. We're going to help that. We're going to use that to help us set this up. We're going to leave this as the default name here, Cisco UM1. We're going to go ahead and click on next. We have capabilities of setting up two ports. So we're just going to put two ports, but we're only going to be setting up one. This is a demo version, so it only lets us do two ports. We're going to go in here. We're going to give our device information. We're going to give it a name here. We're going to call this voicemail port. Give it pack voicemail port. We're going to give it a, a device pool. We're going to give it a location. The security mode It's going to be a non-secure voicemail port. And then we're going to go ahead and click on next. I'm going to give it our beginning directory number. In this case, we're going to give it 8100. And we'll go ahead and just leave everything as it is. And we're going to click Next. And it's like, yes, we want to add it to a new line group. And this is our line group. We're going to leave it like that. And we're just going to review the information that we have here and click on Finish. Next, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a hunt list. So we're going to go and hit the hyperlink here at Hunt List to take us to it. We're going to click on Add New, and we're going to go ahead and give it a name as Voicemail Hunt List. This is going to be our connection to our Unity voicemail. We're going to pick out the PAC single server, and we're going to checkbox the Enable the Hunt List, and it's going to be for voicemail usage. And we're going to go ahead and click on Save. We're going to click on Add Line Group, and we're going to put in that line group name that we had set up. And it's telling us that after we save this, we're going to have to go ahead and reset it. So we go ahead and save it in the hunt list. It was successful. Then we're going to go ahead and apply. We're going to hit a reset. We're going to click reset. And then we're going to close. Next, we want to do is that we want to set up a hunt pilot. So we're going to go back up to call routing, route hunt, and click on hunt pilot. We're going to go ahead and click on Add New. We're going to give it the number of 8000. And we're going to give it a description as our voicemail hunt line. In our hunt list, we're going to go ahead and choose the voicemail hunt line. And we want to deselect provide outside dial tone. And then we click on Save. Next, what we want to do is we want to create our message waiting indicators. So go back to Advanced Features, Voicemail, Message Waiting. We're going to click Add New. And we're going to give it the number of 8050. And our description is going to be Message Waiting Indicator On. We're going to click on the radio button that says On. And we're going to click on Save. We also need to do a Message Waiting Indicator for Off. So we can just make a copy of this. And then we can just edit and change this to 8051. And we can make this to Message Waiting Indicator Off. And then we can hit the radio button that says off, and then we can click on save. Next, we need to do is we need to go do a pilot. So we're going to go to voicemail, voicemail pilot. We're going to go ahead and click on add new. And we're going to give this voicemail pilot number here is 8000. And we'll go ahead and give it a description as voicemail pilot. And we're going to make this the default pilot for this system. Next, what we need to do is create a voicemail profile. So we're going to go back up to Advanced Features, Voicemail, Voicemail Profile. We have a default one here. And what we can just do is we can make a copy of this one. And then we can just edit it. So our voicemail profile name, we can go ahead and give it Voicemail Profile. And we can change this description as our voice messaging profile. And then we can choose our voicemail pilot that we created. And we can also make this as our default. And then we click on Save. 
Next, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and configure our Unity for skinny connections so that we can get it connected to our CUCM. So let's go ahead and open up our Unity. Let's go ahead and log into this. What we want to do is we want to go over on the left hand side. We want to scroll down until we see our telephony integrations. We want to click on our phone system. And we click on our phone system and we can use this one, the information that's in here. We can just go ahead and change the name of this. So we can give this the name of CUCM to skinny. And then we can go ahead and click on save. And from here it tells us that we need a port group. So we're going to go up here to our related links and we're going to click on add port group. So we can go ahead and leave this information here the same. Uh, for our device name prefix here, we're going to give this the name of our CUCM. This is going to be Cisco UM1-VI for virtual interface. We're going to give this the information of our message weighting indicators on and off, which was 8050 and 8051. And we're going to give this the IP address of our CUCM, which is 192.168.15.70. And we can go ahead and click on Save. And it says that we have no ports. So we need to go ahead and go to our related links and add ports. So we click Go. And here we can just leave it as one port. And we can click on Save. Now we can go and we can verify to see if we have any troubles here. We can go to the related links where it says Check Telephony Configuration. We can click go and see what the pop-up says. And it says no problems detected. All right, so let's go ahead and bring up our phone and see if we can pick up our voicemail box in here. All right, so we were able to get our Unity box in there. So that's it for this part. Let's go back to our PowerPoint slide here.